Hello beauties, welcome back to Echo Beauty. In our video today we are sharing a very stunning makeup tutorial by a Chinese makeup hero named Mammon. She named this look as Foxy Eye Makeup. I lift without surgery. We can see that this makeup look will look super great on different occasions. But most importantly this makeup will look amazing on pictures too. Chanel Gold Brick Foundation really suits me does not feel stuffy even after removing makeup. This foundation is really smooth and moist. Reinforce my T-zone with this Burberry bottle. Now that the base makeup is applied, today we are going to draw the INS filter makeup. Did you find that foreign girl self eyes are particularly focused on light and shadow? Let's set a makeup. Next is to fix the face. First of all, we need to recognize what defect we have in our face. I have a big round face. And my face proportion is average, rounded nose. Then my main improvement is the roundness of the face. No sense of line. After knowing your problem, it's time to start contouring. Today I'm going to use PFS Butter for contouring. This is a bronze color that does not glow red or gray. Very natural luster. No matter white skin, yellow skin, black skin can be very good smudge. And as a defective skin does not look dirty. Very suitable for novice operators. We can start by sucking up our own mouths. See this contour sunken. The position opposite the corner of the eye is the position we want to fade. Okay, here goes. The sweep is almost done here. Then slowly smear around the edges of the cheeks. Never sweep into the triangle under our eyes. Our cheekbones should also be swept. You can smudge a little bit outward. Its color is very natural and clear. There will not be the feeling of a particularly deep shadow. Very good smudging. This makes it natural. We just started from here. Continue. Draw down along the yawline. If you have a particularly large mass eater, can be a little heavier. The whole forehead light and shadow is in this circle. We can start with the area directly above the peak of our eyebrows. Add shadows to it. Brush slowly. Do not brush the front part of the eyebrows. Just brush on the back. Our aim is to enhance the facial folding degree. I will use a heavier color for my touch-ups. Your daily routine will be okay. This side of the light and shadow will look a little better than this side. The focus of the face will also be more focused on this piece. Nose contours still use it. Many people say they can't draw the roots of nose. Now teach you a way to find your nose root. First, use an angled brush to dab a little touch up. I don't have nose root when viewed from the front. If there is a light or natural light, when you slightly side a little head, you will find yourself a shadow here at the root of the nose. The mirror is here. So let's look at it obliquely. Take the brush just against the position of our light and shadow. This is how you find the location of your nose root. Articulated eyebrows. If you have a long nose, this inflection point can be a little lower. Start turning at the corner of our eyes towards the past. If you have a short nose, short nose like mine can be moved up a little. Just start turning above the eyes. Slightly blur the area just above the root of the nose. In this way our nose shade comes out. Squeeze the brush flat and apply a little bit of contour. A slight nod of the head. You will find a shadow of this piece. Along the shade you can find the location of the nose. Then stain it again. It's the same here. The light and shadow of the whole nose will be particularly concentrated. The 3D nose is now complete. Because the saturation of the color is relatively low. Can be combined with blush very well. Can also be used as a low saturation blush. Super suitable for painting European and American makeup. I like this filter makeup has a super heavy blush. Blend in with the grooming we just did. Hit on the cheekbone. Slightly smudged out a little. Roughly, we still need to leave the blank area under our eyes. Let's focus the light and shadow. Now it's all about the eyebrows. Have you noticed that my eyebrows are getting flatter? Although there are still brow peaks and arches. The filter makeup is certainly very European and American style. So today we will try to draw a perfect eyebrows. Still using our black eyeshadow. Make sure to leave this part of the arch empty. Upward as far as possible. Gradual fading of the brow. The whole eyebrows flew up. Next is the eye makeup. See my dog eyes. Although the dog eyes are also very cute. The upward eye makeup is a very seductive feeling. The whole trend of eye makeup is still upward. Including the end of the eye. At this point, someone might ask, where is the location to go up? It is the extension of our lower eyelid. Do not exceed this range. You can start by drawing a line. Then blur it away. The eye socket should also be smudged. 
Still in the same position as just now, slightly smaller range. Slowly stain it away. Eye sockets still need to be deepened. Dab this dark brown along the extension of our lower eyelid. Draw a fake eyeliner, then open the eyes halfway. Connecting our eyeballs, slightly smudge the corners of our eyes with the remaining powder. Follow the extension of our upper eyelid close to the root of the eyelashes. Then take a brush to stain it. Deepen our eye sockets. Then use this residual powder to draw the sleeping silkworm. But the focus of the sleeper is on the front part. Do not draw long, just a little short is enough. Then follow the shape of our lower eyelid lashes. Draw a circular arc. Just follow the shape, don't draw the eyelids down too. Because we are going to draw the narrow eyes. Follow the shape of the line just now. Use a brown eyeshadow to slowly deepen the triangle at the end of the eye. Make the end of our eyes look more intense. Apply a long false eyelash at the end of the eye. Apply glitter. The entire lifting eye is complete. The most exaggerated in's filter is lipstick. You will find that your lips are swollen, but it's beautiful. First, use a lip liner to draw the upper lip. I have a slightly long philtrum, so we draw the upper lip out a little. It is the location of this shadow. The mouth will look pursed. Must be round not to draw out. Direct sag. Connected to the corner of the mouth. The curve of the mouth should be upward. Lower lip should be tucked in a bit. First, use a beauty egg to puff the corners of the mouth. The starting position cannot be at the true corner of the mouth. If you have a small mouth that's okay. If you have a flat mouth like mine need to shrink in a bit. The middle part of the lower lip is still drawn out. Then the corners of the mouth are deep on both sides. Use this highlight again. Make my mole deeper. Okay, I'm going to change my clothes. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.